Welcome to Blind Tiger. This is a four versus four. The other team has all four races. Um, if they can use that synergistically, that can be a daunting task to overcome, but alas, random team is highly unpredictable. And I get the same starting position here that I had last game. Uh, difference being that last game I had two AFK players on my team. Uh, and this time it seems everyone is here for battle. <clears throat> I'm going to go with a solo blade master and then get either raiders, wyverns, or bats. I'll feel it out and see what what makes sense. Um, just looking at my team here, it looks like ghouls more ghouls and the human is getting a lumber mill hopefully a barracks at some point don't see that coming though I see a lumber mill only and I'm going to grab my voodoo lounge right off the bat because I like for my blade master to be able to get some healing salves straight away Okay. So, I'm going to get down a second burrow. I will tech at uh, 20 over 30 food. That's my strategy for this battle. And by that time, I should have uh, just enough also to pick up two healing salves on the way creep this spot. If pink doesn't creep his, I'll come down grab his as well and uh, just keep going from there. Main thing is I need to keep creeping quickly with that blade master. Come out and maybe pick up some of the middle greens as well. And there we go. First one you want to take out here is the Null Assassin. He does the most damage. He has the least hit points, so he's just the natural one to take out. And sadly, Orange is coming to steal. Oh no, he's not. I thought he was coming to steal some of my experience, which would have been terrible. And I don't want to lose my Blade Master. Fortunately, I get an item that's going to help. Need some crits here if I'm going to take this out. There we go, just in time. That's a close call, but uh, the juice was worth the squeeze. They usually hit you for about 10 to 11. I knew because I had 12 hit points that I would be just okay. And now I just heal up a little bit. Doesn't look like pink is going for anything over here. Oh, he's going to creep this out and get an expansion. Gotta like that. I like when my team is doing things, you know, making plays basically. It uh, takes some of the weight off of my shoulders. So I'll just get my healing up. And now I can head out. And now because I have the Gauntlets of Ogre Strength, it'll be very easy for me to, uh, to creep this spot. I'm going to add another burrow just over here. Just in case I get harassed, it's good to have an extra spot to put some peons. And pink has his spot crept now. The human, I'm not sure what he's up to, what his strategy is. And since I'm not sure what I'm going to go for yet, I'll just go ahead and uh, um, just tech up the defense. Sadly, the boots of speed were taken here already. I would have liked to pick them up myself. And since green is going there, I'm just going to head for the middle. Oh, 
I'll help him take this spot out if I can. I don't like to steal experience from my teammates, but uh, sometimes you do it when it's necessary. I need level 3 badly. And it's a good start here. Alright, so we see that on the top they're creeping together. They want to get themselves some expos. Uh, and it seems that uh, Pink is actually doing a pretty decent job down there, or over there by himself. I'm going to grab another upgrade. And it's almost time for me to go on the offensive. throw down a tower just in case I get harassed. It's nice to have some defenses. Plus, if someone else does get bats, it can be trouble. And at this point, it looks like bats are probably a relatively safe bet. I like to take out the priest first just because then if I have to come back to it um, I'll know that the healing is no longer there that uh, I can come back and just straight up kill the creeps and I'm gonna go ahead for the critical strike number two because I want to have a little more obviously I want to be able to kill things a little faster get my levels up much faster as well and this sentry ward is going to be just amazing because now I'll be able to see exactly what they're up to and hopefully I can do a little intercepting here catch them doing what they're doing okay perfect some free experience for me slow down what they're up to and teal is really slow on the hop here so I'm gonna be able to kill at least a fourth acolyte and probably even a fifth by the looks of things okay that's about as good as it gets right there Okay, I'm going to let my team go over there to defend. I'm not going in there yet. Okay, so I'm going to get some more free experience here on Red's units. And is Yellow going to get pimped here? Yes, he is. is trying to fight me but he's not doing so well at it and I'll just chase down his paladin There's 
nothing over here. Perfect, perfect. Now my bats are going to be able to take out his his units. Got to say I'm pretty happy with how that looks. And my healing is almost all the way up, so I'm going to go ahead and take out this uh, shredder. And there she goes. Now the most sensible choice, just go down here and finish off what uh, Red is doing on his expansion. And thus far, Pink's doing a nice job creeping while I'm keeping them busy. And with Red coming, I'm just going to let him get here. And then I'm going to go back to his base. Oh, he's bringing in a Mountain King now as well. Very nice. just going to basically keep going back and forth. I'm gonna send a few of these peons all the way down. This one I'll send here just to pick this up. And now back into his base again. And he doesn't seem to be anticipating very well, which is just fine by me. And I should be on level 5 here as of now. I'm just going to bring my bats across. I'm going to blow up these griffins. See if he wants to roll with me here. I take out this expansion again. see what the enemy has. Okay, so they have
So now I'll just take over what Red was up to. Take Red's main out. And it looks like my teammates are having some real trouble. That's fine. And red is pretty much wasted here. I destroyed everything he have he has. Bring in my bats. And that pretty much wipes them out. And it's nice having my expo set up there. I'm just going to heal up, go back on the offensive. Okay, so I'm going to grab myself a healing salve, or sorry, a uh, clarity, and then of course a, an orb, and head right back over. Now the time, now is the time to put the, you know, foot on the pedal. Just about over at this point. They can probably quit at any time. I'm just going to take this base down. Nothing they can do about it. pretty much all she wrote for them. Bring my Blade Master back patiently. This game is already cooked. As a matter of fact, I'll just go build a Voodoo Lounge there and just Tavern rebuy my hero. No point waiting, I might as well get in on the action, get in on the fun. Okay, thanks for watching. Um, we did a lot of damage there and that's pretty much how I like to do it with bats, especially on a big map. Use the Blade Master, keep them occupied, and close them out. 